Have you seen the, 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 the apology in the sun for that absolute catalogue of crud that I told you at the time was nonsense? An article, Vote for Bargains, 27th of February, described the potential savings on a number of goods if EU tariffs were removed after Brexit. Unfortunately, we made our calculations on retail prices. Remember the editor of the Sun, Tony Gallagher, you could tweet him a complaint about this, but he's protected his Twitter account because he's a massive coward. Uh, an article, Vote for Bargains, described the potential savings on a number of goods if EU tariffs were removed after Brexit. And just listen to this. Unfortunately, we made our calculations on retail prices when tariffs are actually applied when goods arrived in the UK. In other words, as I told you at the time, the entire article was based upon either deliberate or accidental ignorance of an almost unbelievable scale. It has taken them almost exactly a month to the day to issue this apology and this retraction but I would remind you that Jeremy not Jeremy, Jacob Rees-Mogg who of course has dismissed all of the economic modelling of his own government that he professes to be loyal to Jacob Rees-Mogg who has dismissed all expert economic forecasting on the impact of Brexit, he tweeted this undiluted rubbish as accurate and last time I checked he still hadn't deleted his tweet which tells you exactly what he thinks of his followers, doff cap tug forelock Vote Reese Mogg. Um, some examples uh, it, it contained within this apology. Um, I quite like this one. Savings on an LG flat screen TV was given as £44, but there's an EU free trade agreement with South Korea, so there is no tariff. It reminds us of poor old Jean in Lowestoft last week who thought that she could prove to me trade from Lowestoft in fish was going to be great because she had a ship full of whelks. Setting sail for South Korea that afternoon, not realising, of course, that that is as a direct result of a free trade agreement with South Korea that we're only part of by dint of our European Union membership. Do you want some other examples? Um, uh, leaving the customs union would not necessarily directly result in any savings on cigarettes and not £4.54 as stated. Savings on cherry tomatoes was given as 21p, but almost all EU imports of tomatoes come from Morocco, which has a preferential arrangement with the EU. The tariff on mozzarella is 185 euros per kilo, so the saving on a 125 gram packet would be about 20p, not the 69p stated. The article also stated, this is, this, is, this is where I know I'm not going mad, because there are moments when I look at what I consider reality to be, and I see what's being reported by newspapers like The Sun and The Daily Mail, and perpetrated by um, alleged journalists like Tony Gallagher, the editor of The Sun, which runs a shop, a snowflake hotline, but whose own Twitter account is closed and protected. This is when I know I'm not going mad, when I read this. The article also stated that we pay trade charges on more than 13,000 items from outside the EU. In fact, for many of these goods, no tariffs or charges are payable. Which is as close as the sun ever come to saying to their readers, we think you're so thick, we're going to lie to you and lie to you and lie to you again. And then a month later, we'll publish a shoddy little paragraph on the right-hand column of page two, um, admitting that we've lied to you, but you're going to be too thick to notice. Here's the thing about being a liberal. I don't think you're thick. I just don't think you're getting the information that you need. And it's on days like today that I know I'm right. That article there, which last time I checked was still up on Jacob Rees-Mogg's account as an economic forecast he believes you can trust, while he, of course, insists you can't trust a single word that the governor of the Bank of England says, a single word that the economic forecasts undertaken by his own government have concluded, and one presumes... A similar degree of scepticism for all of the economic modelling undertaken by everybody from the European Union right through to the Mayor of London. Don't trust any of that, says Big Jakey, but believe this in the sun, which one month later has to publish the mother of all clarifications culminating in that conclusion. In fact, for many of these goods, no tariffs or charges are payable. Liars. Liars, frauds and cheats.